Hello, we've just ended the month of March 2023 and as expected, today I'm going to present to you the DV 2023 end of March report. The DV 2023 program has been going on for the last six months and interview scheduling for the program for the last eight months. In this report, we will first consider the statistics of the program and then scheduling of interviews at relevant embassies. That's the outline of this report. Welcome as we go into it. We begin by considering the statistics of the DV 2023 program at the end of the first six months. As you will see in a moment, from the table on the DV 2023 SEAC data page on Zatisha's website, so far, a total of 19,055 diversity visas have been issued across all regions, which means that approximately 36,000 diversity visas are still available in the DV 2023 program. And currently, we have 21,083 applicants hoping to receive one of those visas during the months of April and May 2023. The Europe region remains on top of visa issuances with 7,927 visas issued to that region. And in last position, obviously, is the North America region where three visas have so far been issued. To access the page showing these statistics, in the description of this video, the link leading to that page is found there. Now over to the scheduling of interviews. By now, you are all aware that once your diversity visa case has met the relevant conditions to be scheduled, the scheduling will then depend on how fast your embassy or consulate is interviewing diversity visa cases which we generally refer to as the performance of that embassy or consulate. There are more than 200 U.S. embassies and consulates worldwide. We cannot cover all of them in this report. So what we will do is to consider only those that are referred to as our embassies of interest. Now, unlike in the last report where there were two criteria set to determine our embassies of interest, in today's report, there is only one criteria used, and that criteria is the viewership of this channel, which means that the embassies taken into consideration are embassies located in countries where this channel has the most views from. This allows us to focus on embassies where most of our viewers are assigned. I think that is quite reasonable. We have a total of 12 embassies of interest in this report, and for each one of them, we will consider where interview scheduling has reached so far, how far is that from the current cutoff number for that region, and then we will make a comment regarding the performance of the embassy in question. With that in mind, our first embassy of interest in this report is the U.S. Embassy in Accra, Ghana. Interviews have been scheduled up to the 20,000 case number range at the U.S. Embassy in Accra, Ghana, with the highest case number scheduled for interview so far being 19,884. That number is very far from the 60,000 cutoff number for the Africa region for the month of May which indicates very low performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Accra, Ghana. With 19,884 being the highest case number scheduled so far for interview at the Accra Embassy, we can say that for applicants assigned at that embassy, the higher your case number is above 19,884, the lower your chances are of being scheduled for interview in the DV 2023 program. Our next embassy of interest is the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, Kenya, 
which finds itself in a similar situation like the embassy in Accra. So far, interviews have been scheduled up to the 20,000 case number range at the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, Kenya, with the highest case number scheduled for interview so far being 19,586, which is also very far from the 60,000 cut-off number for the Africa region for the month of May and which indicates very low performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, Kenya. With 19,586 being the highest case number scheduled for interview so far at the Nairobi Embassy, we can also say that for applicants assigned at that embassy, the higher your case number is above 19,586, the lower your chances are of being scheduled for interview in the DV 2023 program. Embassy of interest number three is Kathmandu, Nepal, where so far interviews are scheduled up to the 18,000 case number range, AS 17,634 being the highest case number scheduled at that embassy from the Asia region. That number is close to the 18,750 cut-off number established for the month of May for the Asia region, which is an indication of very good performance on the part of the Kathmandu Embassy. It means that applicants assigned to the Kathmandu Embassy, whose case numbers are already current, have a high chance of being scheduled for interview in the DV 2023 program. For applicants assigned to that embassy whose case numbers have not yet become current, with the expected increase in the 18,750 cut-off number for the Asia region in the coming months, you have a good chance of being scheduled for interview in this year's program. Number four is Yaoundé, Cameroon, where interviews have been scheduled up to the 40,000 case number range. The highest case number scheduled for interview at that embassy so far is 39,563, which indicates good performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Number five on our list of embassies of interest is Monrovia, Liberia, where interviews have been scheduled up to the 45,000 case number range with the highest case number scheduled for interview so far being 44,969, which indicates good performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy Monrovia, Liberia. Our next embassy of interest is Colombo, Sri Lanka, which we saw recently. So far, interviews have been scheduled for that embassy up to the 11,000 case number range with the highest case number scheduled at that embassy being AS 10,970. That case number is not close to the 18,750 cut-off number established for the month of May for the Asia region, which indicates low performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy, Colombo, Sri Lanka. Embassy of interest number seven is Abu Dhabi, the UAE, where interviews are mainly scheduled from both the Africa and Asia regions. So far, for the Africa region, interviews have been scheduled up to the 35,000 case number range, with the highest case number being AF 34,823. For the Asia region, Interviews have been scheduled up to the 15,000 case number range, with the highest case number scheduled so far being AS 14,981. Now, that is not far from the 18,750 cut-off number established for the Asia region for the month of May, which indicates good performance on the part of the Abu Dhabi Embassy. Number eight on our list is the U.S. Embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone. 
That embassy has interviews scheduled up to the 60,000 case number range, with the highest case number scheduled so far at that embassy being 59,898, which is very close to the 60,000 cut-off number established for the Africa region for the month of May 2023, and which is an indication of an excellent performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy, Freetown, Sierra Leone. Number nine is the U.S. Embassy in London, the United Kingdom. It is true that the U.K. is not an eligible country for the DV 2023 program, but we have cases mainly from both the Africa and the Europe regions being interviewed at that embassy. And in addition, we have a considerable number of viewers from the UK, which makes the US Embassy, London, UK, appear on our list of embassies of interest. So far, the US Embassy in London has interviews scheduled from the Africa region up to the 46,000 case number range, with AF 45,480 being the highest case number scheduled for interviews so far at that embassy. And then from the Europe region, so far interviews have been scheduled up to the 30,000 case number range, with the highest case number scheduled so far being 29,803, which is very close to the 30,000 cut-off number established for the Europe region for the month of May 2023, and which indicates an excellent performance on the part of the London Embassy. Now, a remark concerning embassies like the London Embassy, which are located in ineligible countries. Generally, such embassies perform very well because the natives of the country where they are located are not eligible for the diversity visa program. And so, those embassies are actually left open to applicants from neighboring countries and possibly other regions who are generally relatively small in number. So diversity visa applicants assigned to embassies in countries that are not eligible for the diversity visa program generally have a good chance of being scheduled for interview in the program. Number 10 on our list of embassies of interest is Johannesburg, South Africa. That embassy has interviews scheduled up to the 50,000 case number range, with the highest case number being AF 49,818. That is not far from the 60,000 cut-off number established for the Africa region for the month of May, which indicates good performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy in Johannesburg, South Africa. Number 11 on our list is Kigali, Rwanda, where interviews have been scheduled up to the 57,000 case number range, with the highest case number scheduled so far being AF 56,628, which is very close to the 60,000 cut-off number established for the month of May for the Africa region and is an indication of an excellent performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy, Kigali, Rwanda. And finally, our embassy of interest number 12 is Doha, Qatar, where interviews are generally conducted from both the Africa and the Asia regions. So far, for the Africa region, interviews have been scheduled up to the 28,000 case number range at that embassy, with the highest case number being AF 27,839, and in the case of the Asia region, interviews have been scheduled up to the 9,000 case number range, with the highest case number scheduled so far being AS 8,626, which is not close to the 18,750 cut-off number established for the month of May for the Asia region, and which is an indication of low performance on the part of the U.S. Embassy, Doha, Qatar. So, 
From this report, the best performing U.S. Embassy during the month of March 2023 was the U.S. Embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone. That embassy outperformed all other embassies during the month of March with interviews scheduled up to the highest case number range possible, which is good news for applicants assigned to the U.S. Embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Now, as an applicant assigned at that embassy, even if your case number is not yet current, you still have a good chance of being scheduled during this year's program. So we say bravo to the U.S. Embassy in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Which brings us to the end of not just our DV 2023 end of March report, but also this video. Thanks for watching it. See you, God willing, in the next one. Until then, goodbye.